How's it going, everybody? We're going live. We're doing live. We're doing live. Uh, the Yankees acquired Jamison Tyon. Let's talk about it. It's going to take everybody a minute to show up here. Whoa, a little inception there. I'm trying to pull up my own. Usually I schedule these things like 15 minutes ahead of time, but I'm trying to pull up Tyon's data here from the uh, baseball reference. Let's see here. God, this stream sucks already. All right, let's see who's here. Let's see who's here. All right, we got 27 people live. All right, let's do it. Castillo is not next. <laughs> Ramon Vlogs, Castillo is not next. That's not going to happen. Uh, that that deal just – you have no room for him now. You have no room for him. So Jameson Tyon to the Yankees, um, obviously out last year uh, with Tommy John surgery. So that was his second Tommy John surgery, and – it's not so easy to come back from Tommy John a second time. And let me explain why. Once you have surgery, there's a lot of scar tissue in there, right? It's You create, no matter how deep you go, like you create scar tissue in that elbow. And that creates obstacles for blood and tissue to heal. To heal. So once he's had that first surgery, the second one is not, the restoration is not going to go as well. It's not going to heal quite as well because the the uh, blood vessels, the capillaries, they're all, they all have scar tissue. So uh, it's just, you know, it's going to be tough uh, to come back a second time, but it is. Uh, the uh, I want to talk about the last take NYC. I was actually on his show a couple weeks ago. Um, this rotation is filled with huge injury risks, and that is the main topic I want to talk about because uh, beyond Garrett Cole, you have Corey Kluber, who pitched one inning last season, really didn't pitch much the year before that, so that's a huge risk. You've got Jordan Montgomery coming back from Tommy John surgery last year. You've got Luis Severino coming back from Tommy John surgery. Didn't pitch much the season before. The Yankees have got very few innings out of any of these guys over the past several years. you got Domingo Herman, who didn't pitch at all last year and is getting ripped in winter ball right now. Um, so, let's see. BK Game says, we won the trade. I think, I think it's way too early to say that because – Miguel Ujuri could end up being a very good reliever, and you might not get anything out of Jamison Tyon. I like Jamison Tyon. I've always liked his stuff. He's got a very deceptive arm motion. Let me grab my ball. He really steps away from his body and throws his arm way up like that, just kind of way up like that, almost like a catcher throwing down to second base, and then flings the ball. And that's why he has elbow issues, because if you do that, grab a baseball, Go outside and do that. Put your arm up like that. It's called the one, two, three drill. Do that and then just throw. And you'll notice you feel it right here, right? Because you're you're as you're going forward, you're just putting so much strain right on that ulnar area. And that's why he's had Tommy John surgery twice. So he may not be uh he may not have the kind of shelf life that I think the Yankees fans are hoping for. Um, let's see, Nicholas. Altieri says Marcel Ozuna. This one baffles me. I've seen this name thrown out there a few times on different blogs and Twitter and stuff. And I think it's just noise. I think it's just people trying to create, you know, rumors and stuff like that. Marcel Ozuna does not fit with the Yankees. The Yankees have a ton of right-handed outfield depth, power hitters. In left field, you got Clint Frazier. Baseball, uh, the the baseball network, MLB network, just ranked him the ninth best left fielder in the game. So you've already got a top third of the league left fielder. You got Aaron Hicks in center field, who's a switch hitter. He's got one of the only left-handed bats on the team. What are you going to do? Get rid of him? Gardner's gone now. You need Hicks in center field. Uh, I think you don't want to subtract left-handed bats. I think you only want to add them. And then in right field, you got Aaron Judge. And we've seen the we've seen the Yankees linked and rumored to Ozuna and to uh, Yasiel Puig, but I just don't see it. I just don't get it. Uh, Landy Valle says Jock Peterson. I like Jock Peterson. I like him a lot. Uh, and again, he's a perfect fit for the Yankees. But I, I, look, the Yankees are full of outfielders. They would have to do multiple moves in order to bring in somebody like a Jock Peterson. And I just don't see that happening. Brian Cashman's not the like, uh, not the kind of guy who likes to stir the pot and just change things just to change things, and I just don't think that we need another swing and miss guy, you know. 
Uh, I would have I would be on board with bringing in somebody like a Tommy Listella, like an, a backup infielder who can hit from the left side. You know, somebody who maybe adds a dynamic to the team that they don't already have. There's no reason to go out and get another slugger. Zay says, you are not adding on to the video. I don't know what the hell that means. Bye. Um, oh, Patrick says, Patrick's here. What's up, Futai? But what is up, Futai? But uh, Patrick and I need to do a 643 um, DP episode on this. So uh, Lucas Donisi says, this will be a good experiment for Matt Blake. I agree. Matt Blake uh, was hired before last season to really kind of change the dynamic of how the Yankees handle their pitching staff. Uh, Rothschild, the for the Yankees' former pitching coach, he's more of an old school guy, you know, more of a, you know, uh, applying lessons from the past, from years and years of baseball wisdom to make pitchers better. Whereas Matt Blake is a guy who gets in there and studies slow motion film and will study the spin rate of guys and, and, and really figure out ways to shape pitches so that they uh, essentially uh, improve as a pitcher. And it'll be interesting to see. Uh, let's see. Joseph Cantalupo says, who did the Yankees give up in the trade? So uh, Miguel Yajure was the main piece. Uh, and then there was a couple other a couple other pieces. Uh, there was Kanan Smith, I think. He's an outfielder, left fielder in uh, rookie ball. There's um, – who is the, uh, the other guy? The, uh, Ronzi Contreras, who's a starting pitcher from single A two years ago. Didn't pitch in the minors last year, obviously, because there was no minor league season. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then there was one other guy uh, who I don't recall. It was like Michael Escro, I think maybe his name was Esco. I, I don't remember his, his name. He's nobody I'd ever heard of. But apparently, um, you know, these, these are three guys with some upside, but they're a couple of years away. But they're getting a guy with some upside. Jameson Tyon has a lot of upside. When he's good, he's good. Uh, and you might get one good season out of him before he breaks down. And to me, that would be worth it, you know, giving up these guys. One thing is clear. The Yankees needed some pitching, for sure. Pop S Gaming says, is Tanaka done? Tanaka is a free agent. Last I heard, he was in talks with the San Diego Padres. The Blue Jays have been interested in him, uh, been linked. So I just, uh, I don't think he's coming back to the Yankees. He wants a 15 to $20 million contract. There's been talk that he might go back to Japan. Uh, if the deal doesn't work out with uh, a major league team. So we'll see. Uh, so Tony Lozado says, why did the Yankees get tie on? Um, you, look, you can never have enough pitching. I mentioned it at the onset. You really need seven or eight pitchers that are ready to go at the beginning of any given season because the way guys get injured in any given season, you know, 162 games, you're going to have injuries. You're going to have a couple of pitchers that go down for four to six weeks. You might have one guy that goes down for a whole season. The Yankees lost Severino last year. I mean, what happens if the Yankees lose Garrett Cole? God forbid. I don't want to even put that out there in the universe, but what happens if Garrett Cole goes down for a couple of months? You need arms that can step in. And yeah, sure, not all of these guys are going to come in and dominate, but if you can get you know six-week, eight-week stretches where these guys are good, even if they fall off a little bit and you got to take them out of the rotation, you can piece together a 162-game season. And I think that going into the playoffs with a healthy Garrett Cole, Corey Kluber, Luis Severino, Jordan Montgomery, who I think is going to really break out next year, or Jamison Tyon in that final spot. And Jamison Tyon might be able to pitch out of the bullpen too. He's a swing and miss guy when he's right. That gives the Yankees enough pitching to at least not have to do some kind of weird switcheroo head games in the second game of the division series against the, the Rays. So we'll see. Uh, Respect Shaq says we should trade for Kyle Hendricks. I did a video on this. I like Kyle Hendricks. I don't know if the money's going to work. The Yankees are, are under a mandate to stay under that luxury tax because they're going to have some years coming up where they're going to have to go over it. They're going to have to re-sign Aaron Judge. They're going to have to re-sign Labor Torres. These guys, excuse me, their salaries are going to naturally escalate as they get further and further along in their careers. And so when that happens, you, you don't want it to be building on top of years where you've already gone over the luxury tax because then you have to pay penalties, excuse me, to other teams. And uh, the longer you can avoid going over the tax, the better. 
Uh, Rizbo Turbide says, Tyon is one of Garrett Cole's best friends. Pretty sure Cole is behind this trade. So it has been confirmed by a few different reporters I've seen it that Garrett Cole is involved in this deal. Um, Garrett Cole uh, basically put in a word with the Yankees about Tyon. Uh, you know, it, it makes sense that Cashman would go ask this guy, or you know, what what kind of what kind of dude is Jamison Tyon in the clubhouse? You know, tell me does he fit into the culture? Because um, you don't want to bring him in if he's going to be a problem. And apparently Cole said, "Hey, all's good. He's a good guy, and by the way, he's a good pitcher. Go get him." Talking sports ninety nine. Jock Peterson, Ozuna, or are the Yankees done this season? I think the Yankees are done this season. I think they're done. Borg. I'm just calling you Borg from now on because the 899998, that, that one, it, when I was reading your comment, it got me. Uh, I've been waiting for you to post. I've been waiting to post. I had to wait for my video to publish. I didn't have enough resources on my computer uh, to uh, to go ahead and, and go live. So I needed to get my video up and post it before I could go live. Uh, so, okay, I'll take a few more uh questions and uh if, if we don't have anything then i'll just call it a day uh, let's say dream yankees team each position any year okay so let's say um i'm a big posada fan probably posada at catcher munson backing him up uh garrig and mattingly at first base let's say um robinson cano from about 2009 at second base with uh, uh let's say dj lemayhu backing him up uh shortstop uh, obviously, Derek Jeter, maybe Scooter backing up. Up third base would have to be 07 A Rod with uh, probably. Let's go with Nettles backing up for uh, for defense. Left field, just because I like watching him. I'm going with Daryl Strawberry. I'm going with Daryl Strawberry. Guys, deadly center field. You got to go with Mantle. Right field, Ruth. You you can fill in your outfield with guys like uh, Bernie Williams, Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, I'm starting Joe DiMaggio. I'm starting Strawberry over DiMaggio. No, I probably wouldn't do that. But um, you got to have a left-handed bat, so I'm going to make my case for Strawman. Um, starting rotation, let's say, um, probably uh, Whitey Ford. Um, let's say uh, Louisiana Lightning, uh, Ron Guidry. Probably Roger Clemens in 2001-ish. Uh, maybe... Uh, uh, maybe Andy Pettit and Garrett Cole, something like that. Yeah, I'm in in shuffle that order around. That would be my team. Um, Judge and Winfield definitely deserve attention. Uh, Judge, you know, I don't know if you put him in the category with uh, with Babe Ruth at this point in right field, <laughs> but uh, they're both big boys. Uh, JT Realmuto, he's still a free agent. Uh, last I heard, the Yankees were considering JT Realmuto if they were able to move. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gary Sanchez. The rumor was, and I, I forget who it was. I think it was Jason Stark maybe who said this, that if DJ LeMahieu signed somewhere else, the Yankees were going to use some of that money to put it towards uh, JT Real Muto. That's the rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. Pop S Gaming said, is Gardner done? I do not know if he is gone. If he is done. You're crazy. You know, I forgot about Yogi. I never got to see Yogi play, un unfortunately. Uh, Frank Serratus says, what's the deal with Andujar? Andujar, I think, will hit. I don't think he'll ever hit at the level that he hit before he injured his labrum and had that surgery. But, um, you know, he'll probably hit. I don't think he's, you know, at the point defensively where he should start on the Yankees, but he's a good bat to have around. Mandel, DiMaggio, Garrick. Garrick doesn't play the outfield. Garrick was a first baseman. Pick a number between 1 and 20. 15, Thurman Munson. Do you think the Yankees should sign, I think you mean Andrew Flynn Simmons, shortstop from the Angels? No, I do not. I think he's an injury risk waiting to happen. I realize that he's had a good glove in the past, but frankly, I just don't, uh, I don't see him lasting. I don't see him. Uh, Donnie Baseball on the Simpsons. Who remembers that? Mattingly, shave those sideburns. Yeah, I didn't do a closer. Mariano is obviously the only choice for closer. I basically just went through the rotation. The bullpen, you know, you you probably just fit, fill it in with starters from from the past. But I, I mean, this is it's a fun exercise. But you know, it's I, I try not to put too much thought into stuff like that. Like make your ultimate team because unless I'm basically uh, in some alternate universe where I control space and time and can bring people back from the dead, and I get to 
draft the first 25 players of my imaginary franchise first, I'm never going to have to make these decisions. So I don't really think about it too much. Greatest Yankee of all time. I mean, um, probably, you know, probably this guy, probably Jeter, you know, first ever unanimous hall of famer, but Babe Ruth, it's hard to argue with Babe Ruth. Rigetti is a good, good choice. Um, CC from 2009. Good choice. Frank feels bad for Pirates fans. I kind of feel bad for Pirates fans too, but uh, I will say this for the Pirates. They've got an amazing stadium. Their their uh their ballpark is absolutely legit. One of the most beautiful ballparks. When I play MLB the show as a team other than the Yankees, I usually do either the Pirates, the Giants, or the uh, Cardinals because I just like their ballparks so much. Uh, okay, let's look at more comments here. Verlander free agent next year. Sign? Well, he just had Tommy John surgery too, I think. Um, I think it's too early to say. Justin Verlander, um, yeah, sorry if I hit the mic and cause some sound. I just don't like Justin Verlander. I just don't like him. I think he's a douche. I just don't like him. Sorry. Um, A-Rod. A-Rod was the man. A-Rod had two MVPs with the Yankees. Thank you for the love, uh, DMN, DMN Neos 25 Appreciate it. Bullpen this season. So that's a good point. Miguel Ujure was part of the trade package for the Pirates. And, um, you know, I really liked uh, Miguel Ujure for the brief look that we got at him. He seemed to have some pretty good control. Didn't throw overly hard. He was, you know, 88, 89 miles an hour. I think we saw one or two get over 90, but... He had a good curveball, good changeup. Uh, I think he's going to do a nice job for the for the Pirates. Uh, the Yankees need to figure out the the bullpen. Apparently, they're shopping Adam Adovino, trying to mo move as much money as possible. If they move Adovino, if they can somehow trade Adovino, then I think that opens up the door to somebody like a Real Muto, depending on how much money they have to spend. Um, so we'll you know we'll see. If Otto goes, what do you want back? Thanks, Tiger Woods. I like your new documentary. Uh, oh, man. What do I want back for Adovino? Basically, salary relief. I mean, maybe you, you, it'd be nice to get a prospect. I don't think you need a prospect for him. Uh, but I would uh, I would take salary relief. Seven million, Give me $7 million in salary relief. You know, Yankees pay $2 million on his contract and give us a low, you know, a, basically a lottery ticket for single A. What's going on with Severino? Is the kid done? No, the kid is not done. Uh, two years ago, uh, he was he had a shoulder problem, but it wasn't really a shoulder problem. It was more of a lat problem underneath his shoulder, his scapula area, from what I understand. And uh, he, he hurt it while he was rehabbing. And then maybe he was compensating for it last spring, and he had Tommy John. He tore his UCL. Most pitchers these days seem to have Tommy John surgery. I mean, Strasburg had it. He was he went on to become a World Series MVP. Uh, Kerry Wood had it. Went on to pitch, you know, 15 more years. So it's not the death sentence that, you know, it used to be. Uh, Jose Fernandez had it uh, early on in his career, and he came back and was extremely dominant until his unfortunate death. So uh, I think that uh, you know Tommy John is is kind of a I don't want to say routine because any surgery is not routine. I mean people, you know, get have freaking scissors and shit left in them all the time but i think that given uh the the guy who did this procedure on luis severino does these all the time i think it's pretty you know pretty safe to say that luis severino is going to return to uh to form if you trade out of vino what do you do as far as the bullpen i know your guarantees are chapman britain green and loisa good johnny lasagna um, I think Domingo Herman by the by adding another starter, you push Domingo Herman to the bullpen possibly. Uh, Domingo Herman that might help him out because if you remember, he kind of wore down near the end of his full season where he was eighteen and four. He got off to a really hot start and then struggled down the stretch. I think he would be an outstanding bullpen arm, and I think the Yankees know that because he's got a good fastball, ninety six, ninety seven. He's got a really good curveball, one of the best curveballs in baseball. And those two pitches enough is enough to get you through three hitters. You don't really need to throw three or four pitches. He does have a changeup that he can throw, and he can throw a two-seam fastball. But if you just go with his good hard four-seamer, which would be faster if he's not basically trying to conserve energy for a full game, he might go from 96 
to 98. You might see him at 98 miles an hour with a dynamic breaking ball. I think that's something the Yankees are uh, are thinking about. Mariano had Tommy John surgery. Did he? Did he have? I don't. I don't know that he did. You might be right. Thoughts on Tyler Wade? I think Tyler Wade is a decent backup player, but he's not worth talking too much about because I don't. I just don't think that he's. Uh, I just don't think he's a major factor for the Yankees, other than somebody who can, you know, play the infield, move around, you know, pick up for guys who are injured. He's probably going to play in a lot of games because he can run the bases and things like that. But uh, I just don't see it. Big free agent class, shortstop wise, next year. Who would you sign? Baez, Seager, Correa, or Lindor? Uh, if if I was going after one of those guys, I would sign Seager. But I like I like Gleyber Torres, and I think Gleyber Torres is going to stay with the Yankees. I can see though if Luke Voigt has a down year, let's say he regresses some. Let's say he hits 260 with 24, 25 home runs in, over a full season instead of like the 40 or 50 he was on pace for this year. I could see the Yankees moving Luke Voigt, who would still be cheap at that point, to a team that has some, you know, good home run potential, uh, like a, you know, a park that that serves up home run. You know, he could go play in uh, in Baltimore or in San Diego and do a nice job. Uh, and then the Yankees would be able to move DJ LeMahieu over to first base, where he would be terrific as a corner infielder. And then you can move Glaber Torres back to second base, and then that opens up, uh, you know, for you to sign Seager or. Uh, one of the other shortstops you mentioned. Is Stanton worth the hype? Obviously, obviously, he has not been yet. But we saw in the playoffs what he's capable of when he's healthy. He's got incredible power. He's got as much power as anybody in the league. I think he only played in like 20 or 30 games, and he had some of the hardest hit baseballs in the entire league the whole season. He's uh, He's just a dynamic offensive player. He just needs to figure out how to get healthy and how to stay healthy. I think he needs to be careful or on the bases. If you look at his injuries, a lot of them are, you know, going first to second or second to third. It's not from, you know, running into walls or colliding with people. It's from short, explosive movements, you know. If I'm Stanton, I never run more than 60, 65% on the bases, and I never try and take another base. You're a DH, buddy. You're in there to hit home runs. Stay healthy, stay in the lineup, and do your job. Pop S says Giancarlo would have had 10 plus homers in the postseason. I agree. He would have probably been the ALCS MVP uh, MVP against the Astros because he was red hot. He was red hot. Robert Atko says thoughts on Jay Happ trade. Jay Happ didn't get traded. He signed as a free agent with the uh, Twins, and I think he'll do a nice job with the Twins. That's a ballpark that suits him. It's bigger. Uh, I know the Twins hit a lot of home runs there, but uh, visiting teams don't always hit quite as many home runs. These days in Minnesota, it's just kind of an open air ballpark. It's I know they've moved the fences in a little bit, but it used to at least be a very difficult uh, uh, park to to hit in. So, all right, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks to everybody who's watching. Uh, interesting news from the from the Yankees today. They acquired Jamison Tyon for Miguel Ujure and three minor leaguers. So keep an eye on this i guess uh, i will see you next time as i try and figure out how to end the stream okay see you later